How's it going? It's Matt here from VCM and today we'll be talking about our first group of camshafts mainly used for auto with standard stall and basically used for daily drivers with standard diff gears and also with manuals as well but mainly like I said suited for auto with standard stall. Now the three camshafts we generally use are VCM9, VCM E5 and VCM21. They all have very different idling characteristics. Generally speaking the guys that you know, for the auto with a standard stall, they still want to be able to tell they do have a camshaft. Some guys also want to have that stealth sort of idle. Now with the three, the, the E5, we'll start with the middle one, that generally speaking is the most stealth out of the three. Now it's something where you know, guys, when they get them fitted to their cars, you know, whether it be auto or manual, it can be used either way. It has a very, very mellow idle, almost undetectable. Not in saying that, you know, it's still something that still produces good power and has a very broad power band range, but for the guys that want to sort of fly under the radar, it's the perfect candidate for those guys. Um, like I said, still can be used with the standard diff gears and standard stallers and auto, and also same deal as a manual. You can still use like a 345 in a VE base or a 346 in a VT to VZ. The other two, uh, the VCM9, out of the three camshafts, that offers probably the best mid-range punch, so to speak. Um, still has a, it has a noticeable idle, it's not rough by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but out of the three, that one provides the best mid-range performance. Still, not to say that it doesn't um, make any power in the top end, but you know, out of the three, you know, the guys that sort of want that mid-range performance in that you know, 2500 to 4500 RPM range, that's definitely the camshaft for those guys. Also still suited with auto standard stall and also standard diff gears, no problems at all. Out of the three, the last one uh, I'm going to mention is the VCM21. Generally everybody runs with this one just due to the fact it has the most noticeable idle out of the two. Still can be used with standard stall. It's about as big as we'd like to go. You know, if you start going too big it starts wanting to push or you, know, you have the other option where it starts to slow down, it wants to stall. So we find that's a, that particular grind is a good happy medium. Still, like I said, used with standard stall, also standard diff gears. Also can be used as a, in a manual as well, has good um, manners down low. Um, and out of the three, that generally performs better in the top end. If you want something that's good in the mid-range and not looking for top-end power, um, the 9 is probably suited to you guys. If you want broad power band, you know, sort of from off idle, you know, all the way up to, you know, 5800 RPM, you know, the E5 with the stealth idle is the cam for you. Like I said, it's something that'll fly under the radar in most cars, you know, you can always get away with a standard exhaust, even you can almost tell it's got one. Um, but, you know, for the guys that, generally speaking, when you fit a camshaft to a car, they, they want to be able to tell they have one. Uh, the VCM21 sort of comes up trumps. We've used it countless times on VE, VT to VZ, 5.7, 6 litre stuff. Um, that generally, you know, most guys generally go for that one because it has the most noticeable idle. 